What's up, Ravens fans? It's time for Ravens Mailbag. We got an upgrade today. Sarah Ellison is filling in for Ryan Big upgrade. Mick. Big upgrade today. <laughs> and there's lots of questions. The Ravens are now three weeks away from the draft. So let's just go ahead, jump right into the questions. The first question today, Sarah, comes from Cody. And the question is, will Joe Flacco host a camp with his new targets this offseason to try to figure out some extra reps for these guys? You know, Cody and Garrett, I've changed my mind on this a little bit. <laughs> in the past, I've kind of felt like, ah, this isn't a big deal. Because Joe's always here in mini camps, the volunteer work, all of that's been fun. I never thought that a game in November was going to depend on him getting together with some receivers in the offseason. I've changed my mind <laughs> after last year when, when Joe Flacco and Jeremy Macklin never really got on the same page. And granted, that's because Joe was hurt and missed all of training camp. He'll have all that this year. But he's got a brand new receiving core. He's going to have several new weapons, both as receivers and a pass catching tight end. And I think the more reps, the better. Let's get it in, let's get in the work. And actually what's interesting is I wrote about this last Friday on Late for Work, talking about how jo John Harbaugh said that it was gonna be critically important for Joe Flacco to get on the same page. Mm -hmm. Smokey Brown saw that yep. and he volunteered. He's like, Joe, I'll come wherever you're at. <laughs> I'll come to you wherever you are. And he's done that before with Carson, Carson Palmer. So I'm all for it, especially this year when you have a brand new receiving core. Let's get up there, let's throw some passes. All right, I like where your head's at. So next question, this deals with one of the other big topics of the offseason, CJ Mosley. And Earl Tucker wants to know, what's taking so long with CJ Mosley's contract extension? Well, contract extensions don't happen like this. They often take a little bit of time, particularly when you're talking about one of the best players on your entire team and somebody who, if you were to work out a deal like this, this guy would be the centerpiece of your defense for years to come. I kind of look at Luke Keekley's contract with the Carolina Panthers. That, to me, I think is probably the model that CJ and his team would be going off of. Well, Keekley got a five-year, $61 million contract. So that is, it's a big contract. And so if that's what they're bringing to the table, there's going to be a lot of going back and forth between CJ and the Ravens to try to figure out this number. Also, time is not of the essence here. He is signed through this season. He is on a one-year option, but it gives him a nice chunk of change. So both sides, I think, obviously, do you want long-term security? Yes, everybody does. But he's in a good position that he gets a nice payday if he were to play out this contract. And also the Ravens know he's on the team this year. So I don't necessarily think that it's a guarantee that it happens before the 2018 season. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, you, this is a big deal. You don't need the cap space right now. I mean, the Ravens could always use it, but they have other ways to open up cap space if needed. So let's think long term, getting this contract right before rushing to get a deal done. All right, the last question today comes from dysfunctionally loved and the question is when will the Ravens address the tight end situation you know you said there's gonna be a new one on the team when I think is that there will happen? be a new one on the team they tried yeah reportedly with Eric Ebron and even Jimmy Graham but they were outpriced not surprising because they didn't have a lot of cap space so they've tried since they missed out on the first wave of free agency again there's no rush because I don't see a lot of veterans that on the market that are a big upgrade over what they have and the longer they wait the cheaper these guys become. So maybe you look at somebody like Mercedes Lewis or Julius Thomas, those types of guys, but I would wait until after the draft because that's where the real improvement's gonna come. I think they have some options in the draft. I think that second yeah. day, that second, third round, you can maybe get a guy like Mike Gusecki from Penn State. That's Dal your boy. That's my boy. I mean, <laughs> I've been banging that drum for a while. I, you know, Dallas Goddard is somebody South Dakota State. He might be a first round pick, so not sure if you're gonna get him in the second round. But there's options. There's a number of guys at pass catching tight end who I think the Ravens could get in the draft, and that's something we'll have to do. Deep class. Deep class, yeah. So thanks, sir, for filling in today. That does it for us on Ravens Mailbag. But as always, sending your questions every single week on social media using that hashtag Ravens Mailbag. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great rest of your day.